Hi everyone, it's Paola. Welcome back to my channel, Art, Graphic Design. You know what I'm all about. And also what I'm all about is my Instagram and also my Patreon, so check that out. Always linked below. Today's video is actually highly requested. I've gotten a few comments and messages about it, and I feel like it goes along with my other video where I did taking photos for your portfolio, editing pics, like how to make things better for your portfolio, presenting your work, and this is also going to be that. So I think it's really important to utilize mock-ups in your portfolio. I use mock-ups all the time. I'm going to show you my examples and also how I do it, how to use mock-ups if you do not know how to put things into mock-ups. It's a whole process. It's pretty easy, but let's talk about it. Happy to share with you that this video is sponsored by Skillshare. You guys know I've worked with them. I love them. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for creative people like you. I especially love it because it has classes in graphic design, illustration, photography, everything I love and hopefully you guys love too. And it's curated specifically for learning, so there's no ads, there are always new classes on there, and it's all less than $10 a month with an annual subscription. One of my favorite graphic designers, Paula Scher, has a class and it's called Dynamic Brand Identity, Designing Logos That Evolve. I am so excited that one of my favorite designers is on Skillshare teaching a class. So find out what you can learn and the first 1,000 of my subscribers who click in my link below will get a free Skillshare premium membership trial. Thank you Skillshare! So first, mockups, what are they? Mockups are when you use your work, you take one of your designs, whether that be digital or print, print and then show it in action. So it's not just a logo in front of a white screen or something. It's a logo utilized in product, brand design, how it would be used on signage. And if you can't actually take those products and designs and put them on physical things, you can use mockups to make it look like it's out there in front of a restaurant if you had a restaurant signage or that it is being used in a book or a print. Um, so basically it's like fake, but it looks so good and it's such good quality to look amazing for your portfolio. It looks totally professional and I love it. So let's scroll through my portfolio and I can show you some mockups that I've done. So as you can see here, this is a mockup. So this is actually not the book that I've printed, even though I did print this book, I felt that it was easier to utilize and show in my portfolio, not just photographing the book flat. I actually found that it looked a lot better and just higher quality to use a mock-up. So I put these photos, like images from the actual digital design into this fake booklet picture. And that just made it look way more professional in my opinion. I feel like sometimes photographing you don't have all the equipment to set everything up and you just don't have the skills to maybe like edit out things to hold things up. Like maybe you just don't want to do that. You can totally just use a mock-up like this and it looks great. Now here's another time that I used a mock-up. I actually took the logo for a client and put it on bags and then I also did incorporate photos like that I had taken but the front photo back here is a mock-up also. So I utilized my photos and then also mock-ups, but just adding those little things to like show it on a bag or show like business cards, like all splayed out like this. If you don't have the access to a bunch of business cards, um, this is a great way to show it. Okay, now let's talk about where I get my mock-ups so, so I can download them and use them with my designs. One brand I know that is great to work with, but it does cost money is Yellow Images and I love their company, but I also love finding free ones and I will show you my ways. So graphicburger.com is amazing and I'm not being paid to say this. <laughs> I find mock-ups so easily on here. That's how I found a lot of the business card ones. I found ones where you could put like gold foil. Things get a little more complex, but it's so easy to find on here. I could look up just like business card and it will come up with things. I always just use the search bar for this um, because it's just easier to navigate. So just search as many keywords as you can find and see what comes up for the project you're looking for. But as you can see here, this is the one I've used before. Then there's like this, there's these, and these are amazing, trust me. I can also look up poster and then it'll show me some poster designs. And like I said, like these are all free downloads for Photoshop. So that's what you wanna look for, Photoshop files. That's the easiest way to make a mock-up. Now, Graphic Burger is my favorite site for free ones, but also, Sometimes I find free ones just by searching like into Google specifically what I want. So if I want to do like a poster or something, I'll just look up poster, mock-up, free, 
and then I'll click on links and see what's up. Sometimes Behance has them, people are like giving them away. Just like scour the internet, but there's my resource. So now I'm going to show you how to actually place your design into a mock-up. We're going to download a mock-up, put things together, see what we can make. Um, it's pretty easy and like pretty easy to do on Photoshop if, even if you don't know a lot about Photoshop. I can just show you. But also there's one thing to remember is that you want to find stuff that's going to fit your design size. So if it's going to be completely different than your design size, it's not really going to work out. That's just a tip that I want to tell you like off the bat. Sometimes I've adjusted like the photo itself once I get in there and like I edit it a little bit to, to work if it's like slightly off, if I put in a page of a book and then it's slightly off. But if you are working with something small, you don't want to put it into a poster size. It's just not going to look good. Like you need to kind of have the same dimension. So if you know you're doing like poster size, put it into a poster mock-up. If you know you're doing business card size, put it into a business card mock-up. Hopefully that makes sense. There's always ways to tweak it though. So let's get started. So we're going to put my flower print that I used in the photos for your portfolio video into a mock-up so just to show you the basics of it and then i'll show you something a little more complex okay so you want to fit the vibe especially when you're going for something for your portfolio you don't want to have something completely opposite like i would never have my print like a flower print on like an outside signage so i want to make it more like homey feeling and i think i'm going to use this poster frame that's just in a room so here it is and we're just going to hit download so it's going to come in a zip file and then it's going to open. So here you'll see the font, the license, the poster frame, and that is all the legal info in case anything is crazy. But it should be fine to use. I mean, it's just sharing your personal work, don't worry. So now that we've opened the Photoshop file that we downloaded, all we have to do is look in here. So as you can see, the one that is aware, <laughs> the eyeball one, see if you do that, it'll disappear. And then if you do this one, the sideways poster will be there. So it's all about what you want. They give you options and it's pretty easy. So we want it vertical. We don't want the horizontal one. And so we're going to open up this folder and then look in here. This says your design goes here. So all of these mockups are very self-explanatory and they'll tell you like click into here to put your design. This is where you add your design. So all you have to do is double click on the frame picture and see here you're opened into a new tab, but this is where you're going to put your design. So you put your design on top of this design. You can just like remove any of this. It doesn't really matter. But yeah, all you have to do is just cover this up. So what we do now is we drag in our photo. So if this was a print or anything, you just want to have like a PNG or even a PDF bring it into Photoshop. All you have to do is bring it in from your file, click and drag. So here's my flowers image. It's a PNG. So I'm just going to click and drag it into here and it comes in pretty small, but we're just going to start adjusting it now. So like I said, with sizing here, you can see it's kind of like a little bit off, but I'm just going to do this and center it and see what that looks like. I also want to make sure this background color is exactly matching the white that I have on my background color. So now it's perfect. So all you have to do is hit command S and that will save it close that tab and it'll be there in your mock-up. Okay, I just realized I had like the tabs not screen recorded, but now that they're here, this is like where it is. It opens in this new tab. So then once you save it, you'll close that tab and then it'll pop up. Ah, okay, so there it is. And it's literally exciting every time. I love doing mock-ups because it just makes your work look so amazing. I'm like shocked every time. Okay, so this is now the poster. So as you can see, what the mock-up has done has done like kind of like a shadow so it looks like there's like a little bit of a glare on the poster like if it had like a plastic or vellum in front of it or a glass or whatever and it just looks perfect in here it looks like the perfect print it's like this is what it is in real life not just like digital you know what i mean ah, it just looks so amazing and i love it so much so that is literally mock-ups guys that is the basis of it you just double click into these squares and it always tells you like it always does it says your design goes here like it's very like easy to navigate when you do this type of stuff but yes that is the basic put your design into a picture i also wanted to show you my magazine one because just to explain it a little bit more um, because that might be confusing. It's a little bit more complicated to do like a book than just a picture. So like I said, you are saving those images as images. So your design, like say I was making this in 
InDesign um, because it's a book. And so what I did was I saved the pages and spreads. Um, I saved them as pages and like saved them as like PNGs or PDFs. It really didn't matter because you can drag that in either way. And then I dragged in each side. So if I clicked into this, it would be the right side. So it's like, it looked kind of weird, you know what I mean? Because it's a book, but <laughs> it's like just the saved photo of one side of the book. So one page. So it does look a little weird, but this is like how I saved it in order to bring it into a mock-up for the book so it would come together. So when it is printed as the book, it's a spread left and right page. So it looks great because it all goes together, but <laughs> you have to split that up to put it into the mock-up. So right side, left side, even if it is one continuous image. So it just takes a little adjusting. And then I actually ended up changing the background color. You can change the color to literally anything you want like if I wanted this like red or pink or something I could do it or if I wanted it like gray it's just all about what made it highlight and stand out I ended up doing white I liked the yellow at first because it was like a little more like bam but then I was like mm, doesn't really work for my, for my portfolio in particular like I kind of like the more clean look so it's all about what you want all about like making it your own and the mock-ups make it really easy to do that. I hope this video was beneficial for you. It was actually really fun for me to talk about because I feel like this is the type of stuff that makes me feel like a designer. You know what I mean? Putting my work into something like this just makes me feel impressive, makes me feel like I've accomplished something so amazing and I'm ready to showcase it in my portfolio. And hopefully you are too with your work. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like. It really helps my channel check out my links below all my resources for you guys like the mock-up stuff and i will see you in my next video okay bye oh i also forgot to say subscribe but subscribe guys also love you all i'm having such a great day have a great day too okay bye <laughs>